the King James 1611 AV verses. The NIV by Dr. Stiley W. Hayward. Fair Use Section 107 of the Copyright Act states that the fair use of a copyrighted work, including such use by reproduction in copies, for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, or research, is not an infringement of copyright. New International Version Registered NIV registered copyright 1973, 1978, 1984, 2011. The King James 1611 AV Bible. Study to shew thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. The NIV. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, and who correctly handles the word of truth. Error, 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 the NIV. Matthew 18 verse 11 The King James 1611 AV Bible For the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. Matthew 18 verse 11 The NIV It's gone! It's gone! Warning, warning. Isaiah 14 verse 12, the King James 1611 AV Bible. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Isaiah 14 verse 12, the NIV. How you have fallen from heaven, morning star asterisk, son of the dawn, you have been cast down to the earth, you who once laid low the nations. Asterisk Revelation 22 verse 16 KJV 1611 I Jesus have sent mine angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David, and the bright and morning star. Uh -oh. <laughs> The NIV calls Lucifer the morning star a title clearly in Revelation is to Jesus Christ. Thus the NIV makes Lucifer to be Jesus Christ. Luke 11 verses 2 to 4 The King James 1611 AV Bible and he said unto them, When ye pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, for we also forgive every one that is indebted to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Luke 11 verses 2 to 4, the NIV Father, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come. Give us each day our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, for we also forgive everyone who sins against us. And lead us not into temptation. Notice anything missing? Reread it again.
In the NIV God is not our Father. Where is the which art in heaven? Hallowed be thy name is gone. No. Thy will be done, as in heaven, so in earth. Indebted is not sins, but deliver us from evil is missing. Notice anything missing. Deuteronomy 23 verse 17 The King James 1611 AV Bible There shall be no whore of the daughters of Israel, nor a sodomite of the sons of Israel. The NIV No Israelite man or woman is to become a shrine prostitute. The NIV Remove to water down the Bible the sexual sin of the sodomite. Then it adds the word shrine, but the oh, verse no, is to wrong. any and all I whores. W-H-O-R-E Don't give me a Bible that hides sexual perversion. 1 John 5 verses 7 and 8 the King James 1611 AV Bible For there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. And there are three that bear witness in earth, the Spirit, and the water, and the blood, and these three agree in one. The NIV Verse 7 for there are three that testify, verse 8. The A, Spirit, the water and the blood, and the three are in agreement. Footnote A. 1 John 5 verse 8. Late manuscripts of the Vulgate testify in heaven, the Father, the Word and the Holy Spirit, and these three are one. 8 And there are 3 that testify on earth, the, not found in any Greek manuscript before the 14th century. Liar. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these 3 are 1, are missing. Who would remove God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost? The NIV was going to do it, and they did it. It's gone! Matthew 8 verse 2 The King James 1611 AV Bible And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou wilt, thou canst make me clean. Matthew 8 verse 2 The NIV A man with leprosy came and knelt before him and said, Lord, if you are willing, you can make me clean. It is possible to kneel without worshipping, but worship is giving Jesus the attention that the NIV denies him. Psalm 9 verse 17 The King James 1611 AV Bible the wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. Psalm 9 verse 17 The NIV The wicked go down to the realm of the dead, all the nations that forget God. Ha, ha, ha.
Friend. The NIV replacing the grave for the KJV hell is a Jehovah Witness doctrine that hell is the grave. Many of the dead go into a grave, but not all go to hell. This is a grave error. Matthew 20 verse 16 The King James 1611 AV Bible so the last shall be first, and the first last, for many be called, but few chosen. Matthew 20 verse 16 The NIV So the last will be first, and the first will be last. It's gone! It's gone! First Timothy 3 verse 16 The King James 1611 AV Bible And without controversy great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, justified in the spirit, seen of angels, preached unto the Gentiles, believed on in the world, received up into glory. First Timothy 3 verse 16 the NIV, beyond all question, the mystery from which true godliness springs is great. He appeared in the flesh, was vindicated by the Spirit, was seen by angels, was preached among the nations, was believed on in the world, was taken up in glory. The NIV replaces God with He. Anyone could be He, but only one could be God. I guess in the NIV Jesus is not God, but a simple He. The NIV says the world. The KJV says Gentiles. In the world, there are Jews, Gentiles, and Church. The world is included the Jew and Church, but Gentile are not Jews nor the Church. The NIV lumps all together. John 3 verse 16, the King James 1611 AV Bible. For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. John 3 verse 16, the NIV. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Jesus was not the one and only Son. Adam is called the Son of God in Luke 3 verse 38. There are sons of God in Job 1 verse 6, and Christians are called sons of God in Philippians 2 verse 15, and 1 John 3 verse 2. Jesus was the only begotten Son. By removing the critical word begotten, the NIV perverts John 3 verse 16 into a lie. Acts 8 verse 37 The King James 16 11 AV Bible And Philip said, If thou believest with all thine heart, thou mayest. And he answered and said, I believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. The NIV it's gone! It's gone! Second Kings 23 verse 7 The King James 16 11 AV And he brake down the houses of the Sodomites that were by the house of the Lord where the women wove hangings for the grove. Second Kings 23 verse 7 the NIV He also tore down the quarters of the male shrine prostitutes that were in the temple of the Lord, 
The quarters where women did weaving for Shira. Sodomites and shrine prostitutes are not the same thing. Sodomites, according to the Bible, are persons who engage in sexual abominations. To appease the wicked doers of the Sodomite regions, the NIV hides and lowers the names and acts of sin. The NIV replaces grove with a shira. A grove is trees and plants with an idol in the center for worship. Ashira is a female goddess, not a grove. Luke 2 verse 33 The King James 16 11 AV And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Luke 2 verse 33 the NIV The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Joseph was not the father of Jesus Christ unless you have the NIV, so there is no virgin birth in the New International Version. Oh no, that's wrong! Try again! Revelation 1 verse 11 The King James 16 11 AV Bible Saying, I am Alpha and Omega, the first and the last, and, what thou sayest, write in a book, and send it unto the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Revelation 1 verse 11 The NIV Which said, Write on a scroll what you see and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. So, in the NIV, Jesus is not the I am Alpha and Omega. Open garbage can and insert the NIV. The question is, where does Satan or the devil go? Isaiah 14 verse 15 The King James 16 11 AV Bible Yet thou shalt be brought down to hell, to the sides of the pit. The question is, where does Satan or the devil go? Isaiah 14 verse 15 The NIV But you are brought down to the realm of the dead, to the depths of the pit. Do you like having a Bible, the NIV that teaches as the Jehovah's Witnesses teach? They both say hell is the grave. Oh no, that's wrong. Try again. Mark 5 verse 6, the King James 16 11 AV Bible. But when he saw Jesus afar off, he ran and worshipped him. Mark 5 verse 6, the NIV. When he saw Jesus from a distance, he ran and fell on his knees in front of him. So, what had occurred? Did he fall? The NIV deprives Jesus of worship once more. The New International Version just says he dropped on his knees, whereas the King James 16:11 says he worshipped. Do you have any idea how many times I fell to my knees as a child? Revelation 1 verse 18 The King James 16 11 AV Bible I am he that liveth, and was dead, and, behold, I am alive forevermore, amen, and have the keys of hell and of death. 
Revelation 1 verse 18 The NIV I am the living one, I was dead, and now look, I am alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and Hades. The NIV replaces the simple word hell with the word Hades in the New Testament. This process is repeated five times. Who understands Hades in the English-speaking world? Go to Hades who says. Hades is not a hellish location. The Assyrian Hades, also known as Happy Fields, is a realm of blessing. Hades, according to the New Age movement, is a purification stage between heaven and hell. Let us consult Mr. Webster's Dictionary. 1. The Greek deity of the underworld. 2. The Greek mythology's underground dwelling of the dead. What is the mythology that this is based on? Mythology. To be precise. The New International Version is about mythology, in Greek of course. So far in our NIV research, we've discovered that this Bible takes sides with the Jehovah's Witnesses and the Catholic Church too, non-Christian, cults, and Greek mythology. Exodus 6 verse 3 and Psalm 83 verse 18. The King James 1611 AV Bible. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob. By the name of God Almighty, but by my name Jehovah was I not known to them. That men may know that thou, whose name alone is Jehovah, art the most high over all the earth. Exodus 6 verse 3 and Psalm 83 verse 18. The NIV. I appeared to Abraham, to Isaac, and to Jacob as God Almighty. But by my name the Lord I did not make myself fully known to them. Let them know that you, whose name is the Lord, that you alone are the Most High over all the earth. It is funny that the NIV, which takes the blank witnesses view. You see, in the NIV, there is no Jehovah. The word Jehovah is missing. It's gone! It's gone! Luke 4 verse 4 The King James 1611 AV Bible And Jesus answered him, saying, It is written that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word of God. Luke 4 verse 4 The NIV Jesus answered, It is written, Man shall not live on bread alone. It's gone! It's gone! Mark 7 verse 16 And 9 44 And 11 26 The King James 16 11 AV Bible if any man have ears to hear, let him hear. Where the worm dieth not, and the fire is not quenched. But if ye do not forgive, neither will your Father which is in heaven forgive your trespasses. And the scripture was fulfilled, which saith, And he was numbered with the transgressors. Mark 7 verse 16 And 9 44 And 11 26 The NIV
Hell, in the King James 1611 AV Bible, the term hell appears 31 times in the Old Testament. It appears in the NIV Old Testament, zero. The word hell does not appear in the NIV Old Testament. To quote the NIV go to, the cause for the deletions of God's word can be found in the King James 1611 AV Bible. Luke 8 verse 12 Those by the wayside are they that hear, then cometh the devil, and taketh away the word out of their hearts, lest they should believe and be saved. Deuteronomy 4 verse 2 The King James 1611 AV Bible Ye shall not add unto the word which I command you, neither shall ye diminish aught from it, that ye may keep the commandments of the Lord your God which I command you. Deuteronomy 4 verse 2 The NIV Do not add to what I command you, and do not subtract from it, but keep the commands of the Lord your God that I give you. The NIV replaces the word word with the word command. The KJV says word, while the NIV says command. A command, according to the KJV, is an order that is distinct from the term word. So the NIV says, Do not add to what I command you, and do not subtract from it, but it goes on to say, but keep the commands. Yet, they do not do what they have written because we have shown you in this presentation where they, the NIV has subtracted the words. The King James 1611 AV Bible of the Lord your God. Remember hell is subtracted from the Old Testament 31 times and the four times the word. Jehovah has been replaced. The Webster's 1828 Dictionary. Word, language, living speech, oral expression. The message was delivered by word of mouth. Declaration, purpose expressed. Command, to bid, to order, to direct, to charge implying authority and power to control and to require obedience. Truly one can see, unless they wrote and read the NIV, there is a difference between word and command. 1 John 4 verse 3 The King James 1611 AV Bible And every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God, and this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. 1 John 4 verse 3 The NIV But every spirit that does not acknowledge Jesus is not from God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist, which you have heard is coming and even now is already in the world. Notice that the phrase, Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, is omitted from the NIV, Jesus is not from God, it does state, but what isn't from God? Only a scholar or an evolutionist denies that God is the creator. Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Is Jesus deity as God himself? Yes. He is, which, once again, the Jehovah's Witnesses profess that he is not God. Having both the JWS and the NIV, the ideas that Jesus is not God or the deity of Jesus of each other, would it not conclude that the NIV Bible held and read by born-again Christians makes you a Jehovah Witness? The King James 1611 AV Bible says, Every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh, which the NIV states, look to the right, there it is. In black and white. They omitted, is come in the flesh, which God did come in the flesh. Denied by the JW and NIV. The KJV goes on to say, and this is that spirit of Antichrist, not the Antichrist, but the spirit of Antichrist. Where does that put the Jehovah's Witness and the NIV? To the NIV Jesus can be of God, to the Jehovah's Witnesses, he's a good teacher for the Jews. Jesus, a master or rabbi, but Jesus is not God to them the KJV, and the born-again Christian. He is God manifested in the flesh. Any other proclamation is an antichrist spirit. Where do you stand, my friend? Matthew 8 verse 31, the King James 16 11 AV Bible. So the devils besought him, saying, 
if thou cast us out, suffer us to go away into the herd of swine. Matthew 8 verse 31, the NIV. The demons beg Jesus, if you drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. The NIV replaces the word devils with demons. We Christians do the same. Many well-known preachers have called out the word demons rather devils. But this is a serious error. In mythology, a demon is defined as a god or a subordinate deity, as the genius of a place or a person's attendant spirit. According to Thayer's Greek lexicon, daimon is defined as, in Greek, off, a god, a goddess, an inferior deity, whether good or bad. Vine's Concise Dictionary of Bible Words has the following under the entry for demon, demoniac. A. Nouns. 1. Daimon, a demon, signified, among pagan Greeks, an inferior deity, whether good or bad. In the New Testament, it denotes an evil spirit. It is used in Matthew. 831, mistranslated devils. 2. Daimonion, not a diminutive of daimon, but the neuter of the adjective daimonios, pertaining to a demon, is also mistranslated devil, devils. In Acts 17 verse 18, it denotes an inferior pagan deity. As these Bible scholars freely confess, a demon can be bad or good. If someone is new to the English language, especially small children, demon is a difficult word to define. However, if we just leave devil in our King James Bible, it will be quite easy to see that a devil in the Bible is always bad, always evil notice the letters D-E-V-I-L. To do as the modern translators have done, including in KJV, and change the King James devils to demons some six dozen or seven dozen times, is to water down the Bible. God's word is made less clear. So, in effect, when the modern versions say the King James is so hard to read, they have to admit the King James is actually much easier than they allege. Their pet modern English versions read are harder in the case of demons and devils. Remission, regeneration, impute, propitiation, New Testament, and other wonderful Bible terms are removed from the NIV. I'm sorry, what? The NIV removes 64,576 words despite God's unambiguous warning about taking away or removing from His words. The King James 1611 AV Bible is said to contain 783,137 words. That's 8.25% of the total. This is the sales tax in several states in the United States. As much as the 8.25% NIV elimination of God's word would be equated to Ruth, Esther, Ecclesiastes, Son of Solomon, Lamentations, Hosea, Joel, Amos, Obadiah, Jonah, Micah, Nahum, Habakkuk, Zephaniah, Haggai, Malachi, Colossians, 1 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians, 1 Timothy, 2 Timothy, Titus, Philemon, James, 1 Peter, 2 Peter, 1 2 3 John, Jude, and more being removed from your Bible. All combined. 30 books of the Bible at 8.25% removal by the NIV. After all, who among today's Christians reads these books? Colossians 1 verse 14, the King James 16 11 AV Bible. In whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of sins. Colossians 1 verse 14, the NIV. In whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Are you washed in the blood? Not in the NIV. The NIV removed the blood of Jesus Christ. Oh, the Jehovah's Witnesses refuse blood transfusions. If you are saved by the blood, the NIV is not the Bible for you. Mark 1 verse 2, the King James 16 11 AV Bible. As it is written in the prophets, Behold, I send my messenger before thy face, which shall prepare thy way before thee. Mark 1 verse 2, the NIV. As it is written in Isaiah the prophet, I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way. Isaiah. It is written in Isaiah. Says the NIV really? Liar. Let's try Malachi 3 verse 1 Behold, I will send my messenger, 
and he shall prepare the way before me, and the Lord, whom ye seek, shall suddenly come to his temple, even the messenger of the covenant, whom ye delight in. Behold, he shall come, saith the Lord of hosts. The NIV sure wrong. John 14 verse 2, the King James 16 11 AV Bible. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Come on, guys, let's go! John 14 2, the NIV. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? So, that is it? The NIV gives you a room, big deal. God gives us a mansion, says King James, 1611 AV Bible. Are you ready to give up on the NIV? We've compared the NIV's errors to the King James 1611 AV Bible. There are considerably more errors than time allows us to describe, but the evidence has been collected. Is the New International Version, NIV, the true Word of God, or a counterfeit? You now have a free will decision to make. Make an informed decision. Thank you for listening and share this work.